welcome Virgo Libra to your mid-month reading for December. I hope your friends are doing great out there. Welcome back all subscribers and anyone new to my channel. Welcome, welcome. If you friends like this, please like and subscribe. Okay, friends, let's see what's going on with you and your energy. This is what you're thinking, feeling, or the energy surrounding you. Virgo Libra. And remember, if this doesn't resonate with you, please watch your um, original Virgo sign or Libra sign or your rising or moon. Okay. There we go. Getting two cards out, guys. Waiting for your ships to come in. And, but not really seeing it. Not sure if it's coming. Hmm. Not sure if it's coming or you might not be using your intuition to see what's coming at you um, could be one or the other um, but just pay attention to that major arcana right there because um, there could be also some it just feels like impatience to wait for them to come in okay or it could be mistrust but it really feels impatient um, the impatience of waiting Who are you waiting for? <laughs> That's what I keep hearing. Like, who are you waiting for? Who's coming? Or what's coming? <clears throat> okay. Clarifying on the High Priestess and the Three of Wands. This card's not only going to clarify those two cards, but the entire reading. Waiting on something. Ooh, you're waiting on somebody. Okay, if partnerships and alliances, waiting for a friend, waiting for a parent, waiting for a child to come back from college, waiting for a loved one, waiting for someone. Okay, waiting for someone, could be for the holiday season, uh, maybe they're coming in for Christmas and you're waiting impatiently. Okay, or maybe your partner, Maybe your partner or somebody is giving you a gift too and you're waiting for them to arrive with this new car. <laughs> Where's my new car? Where's my new car? Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Let's see what's going on over here, you guys. Getting straight into the situation. The situation is going to take place in the present, the near past, and the near future. Keeping that spiritual strength, telling yourself, okay, well, even though I'm impatient, I'm still trying. <laughs> Trying to stay strong over here, keeping my belief system open, saying they are coming, they are coming. Um, base chakra upside down, saying I don't have. I uh, got moving on in the near past and the near present. Your third eye still upside down, you guys. What the heck? That's still a part of that uh, high priestess. But you have movement choices and decisions, so you do have five cards coming out, which is showing there is a change about to happen. Ooh. Or you're in the chain right now, right? Okay, moving on. So in the past, you moved on, someone moved on. Feels for somebody is like they're, I don't know who this is for, but I'm really getting this um, moving on. Child grew up, went to college, moved on, got married, did something, and now they're coming on back um for others of you you have the knight of cups they moved on they're not offering you love anymore um maybe there was some kind of separation going on with the knight of cups um no matter what there's still kind of some kind of separation um like i said somebody felt that there was it was it was a force though too it was kind of it was forced right so like I said, uh, if you have a, a young adult child, you know, it was almost like they, they forced themselves to go to college, right? So it was like they, it was a force that made them move. There was nothing you could do about it, right? 
It's like, yeah, I understand. They have to grow up. They have to go to college. They have to leave. They have to move on. And he didn't like it, though, right? And for others of you, it was a relationship with a partner or an alliance or somebody that was more domineering force. Um, and you were forced to move on because it wasn't going your way. Yeah. There's too much pushing, too much compromising. Take it how it resonates. I got about three stories going on in my head. Um, but, uh, yeah, I'm really picking up somebody's energy that someone was a little forceful and a little domineering about having to leave. Or, and if they, it wasn't them who left, it was, they pushed you out. See, pushing pushing. They pushed me away. They were forceful. They pushed the situation, pushed me to leave. <clears throat> and if it was somebody who went to college, it was like they pushed their way out the door. Um, but you know, it was for the, that's for the good, right? And you knew that you had to push too, right? Because they have to go do what they have to do. Um, even though you don't like it feels like there's, however you see this, doesn't feel like you really liked the situation. Um, yeah, whether, how, it doesn't matter how forceful or dominating it was, it wasn't passionate. It wasn't something you wanted to happen. Um, you know, even when our children get older, when they do leave, you want them to go be the best that they can be, right? But when they have to leave, it's kind of like, oh, it hurts. So with the Knight of Wands, it was something that you knew had to happen. Um, if it was a love relationship or, you know, this partner, you knew this was the, for the best. However it was, it was for the best and you knew it, whether you liked it or not. And it was, yeah, because of the two of cups, because you did love this person and you love this person still to this day. There's a lot of love. Um, so you're waiting for them to come back. I feel like whoever it is, you know, they're coming back. It could even be an ex, it could be a friend, it could be anybody strength keeping your spiritual strength over here keeping the spiritual strength keeping yourself strong waiting for your ships to come in yeah there's you the Virgo coming out as the hermit it could be, it's, it's, you know, this is you together. Um, you could even be waiting for a Gemini and Aries or a, um, Pisces Cancer or a Scorpio to come back. Um, I do have Pisces and Cancer over here twice. Um, so it could definitely be a water sign. Pretty much this shows me you, right? Virgo, Libra, even this Gemini card, it doesn't matter. It has that air and that air is just telling me how you are getting into your spiritual strength. You know, they're coming back. Um, you're waiting for them, you're staying still, silent, and um, logical thinking, um, even inside, you know, this uh, spiritual strength. The only problem with your spiritual strength is you're not using any intuition. Um, you're just literally going inside, trying to use the logical thinking side of air, um, which is normal for air. <laughs> logical thinkers. So it's kind of like you're doing all these things and you're putting everything together and keeping your belief system alive. They probably called, said they were coming, and you're hoping that this is true. I think that they had told you somewhere over on this side. Um, this is talking about when they left, but I think if we were to dig deeper, it would be right here um, why their ships are coming in, right? Logical thinking says they're coming in for Christmas. Um, because I had already talked to them. We're not digging that deep though, right? <clears throat> so keep that how that resonates with you. You know why you're logically thinking that they're coming back. You're digging deep um, and getting ready for this person to return. Um, okay. Trying not to steal your happiness. Okay. You're trying not to steal your happiness without any doubts or insecurities with the five of swords in reverse. You're just trying to keep yourself very go lucky. I'm sorry, I said five of swords, the seven of swords. My goodness, sorry guys. Um, you know, trying to adjust to the situation and the situation of the adjustment pretty much is the responsibility you're taking upon yourself to keep yourself positive and knowing that they're coming in. But there's still this, this deep peace within you and that's why you're going into hermit mode of I don't really know, I'm feeling impatient. 
you know, I'm not really positive, but I'm keeping my positivity alive, right? I mean, we are only human. So, you know, there could be this still this little tiny bit of doubt inside you that holds you back, but you're trying not to think about that. Let's put it that way. Base chakra, I don't have. I don't have the message yet. It's almost like I said before, they, it's almost like they message you at one time for some of you, or maybe you're just logically thinking they will just appear, right? Because it's Christmas time, right? You haven't gotten the message yet. I don't have the message that they're coming though. I'm waiting for them to come home. I'm getting impatient that they're going to be here, but I haven't received this message yet. That's why the impatience is there. Of course, it makes so much sense. But that's why you're trying to keep yourself spiritually balanced over here. And the belief of, fine, I haven't gotten the message, but it's okay. Everything's going to be fine. I'll just sit over here very, you know, very calm and cool. I'll get my responsibilities done. I'll decorate the tree, do this, do that, whatever it is that you do during Christmas. Right? Trying to wait. It is upsetting. It is upsetting. Um could be dealing with a Sagittarius. Ooh. Hold on a second. Your person could be a Sagittarius. I had Gemini again. Your person doesn't know if they're going to make it at this time. We're in the present. It looks like they're fighting to get where to get to you, to get home, to do what they need to do. Um, but it does look like they're doing something. Teaching, learning. I'm telling you, some of these college kids or something, um, or out at work or, or something, there's a delay. Um, the delay with the... Knight of Swords upside down. Can't come rushing in at you. It's making them upset because they're not, they're not sure. They're not even sure if they're making it. But they haven't told you yet. Because with the Page of Swords, it's like they're learning to try to figure out how they're going to get to you. It's almost like they're manipulating a situation, whether it's for work, Travel. Yeah, they don't. They're trying their hardest to get to you, but they're having a hard time. There's something going on with them, like I said, through work or travel, that they can't make it. They're trying their hardest to figure this out. It's upsetting them. I got so much fire up here. You could be definitely dealing with... Aries, Sagittarius, or a Leo, they're really trying their hardest, but they don't, I feel like they don't have the transportation to get there, or they don't have the open time to get there, and it's like they're trying to make time, trying to get out of work, trying to get a ride, trying to get to you. It's... They're still waiting for this message. The only reason it feels like they haven't messaged you is because they're still trying to figure out with the page of swords, how am I going to get to you, Virgo, Libra? I don't know how yet. I haven't, I can't figure out the plans. I'm trying to manipulate a situation at work so that they'll let me out so that I can get to you. Um, I'm trying to get the transportation. I'm trying to get on that airplane. Um, something is going on um, with your person. And for a lot of, and then there's that kid again too. So it could be this this uh, young adult <clears throat> doesn't have to be because I also have an older person here too. I have all three ages, so take it how it resonates. I've got a younger adult, an older adult, and a middle-aged adult. So, <laughs> you know, you've got them all. Um, got them all between uh, the ages of uh, like 19, 18, 19 to through 60, 70, right? Could even be your dad. Um, it, however it is, they're trying to get to you, but they're having a rough time. Uh, okay. 
third eye chakra. For some of you others, they may have been sick at one time and they're hoping that they're not still going to be sick and trying to figure out how they're going to do this because they are getting over being sick. They're recovering from being sick for some of you. And it doesn't, you know, be recovering from surgery. It could be anything health-wise, right? So we're trying to figure that out as well. And that's for some of you. Okay, so the third eye chakra over here is I don't see. Hello, I don't see you. Where are you? But you're still holding tight. You don't see them coming. You haven't heard the message still. You don't see. Now you're to the point um, that you don't see them coming. You're still determined, though, to hold tight to the idea that they will still be here. Um, with the Wheel of Fortune, you're hoping that your luck changes um, and that it goes for your favor. You're waiting for this favor to come in. You're waiting for this luck to change. You really want this person. You feel right now that you have nothing but bad luck um, when it comes to this partner and alliance. Um, and you're really waiting for that wheel to change in your favor. Yeah, you're still, still waiting for the perfect timing. You're still waiting for this dream. You, you dream about them coming. You want them here. They're working on it. They're still working on it, but there's something toxic going on around them that is keeping them from being there. Um, it could be work, too much work, um, over busy. Um, you're working on staying determined to have them here, wishing on upon your stars and dreams. And they're also working around, um, could be their boss. Maybe their boss is a little devil, right? And they're trying their movement choices and decisions. They're trying to work past this. Page of Cups are trying to keep. They're offering their boss. Like, hey, if you let me go do this, for some, this is for somebody. If you let me go do this, I'll put in extra hours next time. But I really need a break. I need to get to where I need to go. Um, for others of you, you're just trying to keep yourself self-assured as much as possible. But I also feel like they're trying to also keep themselves self-assured. It's almost Christmas time. It's, you know, movement, choices, decisions. It's almost Christmas. Where am I? Clarify on the movement choices and decisions around Christmas time, please. Still trying to travel, but there is no victory. Um, for some of you, this person is not going to make it for Christmas. They might be here after Christmas, but yeah, they're they're letting go of the situation. There's something wrong. Something wrong. They cannot get out of work. They cannot get to you. Yeah, they're impatient. They've lost their patience because Ten of Pentacles, it's... becoming very overwhelming. They're losing their patience now um, with the Ten of Pentacles. I'm trying to keep it satisfied as possible, but it just feels like because of work with the Ten of Pentacles, it's, I'm so overworked, I cannot get to you. And this gives you Nine of Swords. <clears throat> so whoever you're looking for just cannot get to you, either whether it's because of work or because of travel situations, because they're, they haven't recovered, you know, they're in, in recovery, but haven't recovered enough. Um, something of this nature, you guys. Okay, and it could be dealing with a king of pentacles, but it also could be you, and this could be you trying to have the realizations and the understanding to why this person can't be here with you. Um, okay, so it's kind of like, you're gonna be hurt, you're gonna lick your wounds, you're trying to understand why they are not going to be here. Yeah. Okay, so whoever you're waiting for, it looks like, like I said before, has something to do with recovery, travel, or work. I said the only three reasons here I really can't, there's really nothing else here to say why they couldn't show up has nothing to do with their mad at you or any of the above. I don't see any of that. So if they do write you or, or you know, text you um, or call you and tell you that, 
don't think it's because they're lying because it doesn't, there's no lie here. There's no lie. If anything, they were trying to manipulate a situation to get to you, okay? The vibration of compassion shines through my every cell. So just, I understand that you've been waiting for this person. I understand that this could break your heart if this, if they don't come through, right? Now look, the overall outcome is, might not be for everybody. They might end up showing up, okay? Something incredible might happen. Um, it's not 100, okay? Um, but they're not lying when they say they cannot be here. I do not see anywhere in here that shows deceit or lying to you. Um, and the reason I'm bringing this up is because compassion, um, they really do want to be here with you. Um, and it looks like they're just as frustrated, if not more frustrated than you are waiting for them. Um, so, if, if and when this message does come in and they say they cannot be here, use a little compassion um, towards them as well because look at how frustrated they are over here, you guys. They are trying so hard. They are so mad because they cannot get where they want to be. They're manipulating a situation with someone, whether it's the travel company, however I said before, right, or even just trying to get, you know, their health, you know. No, I said I'm fine. I'm fine. I can travel. No, you can't travel says the doctor, right? Or says his wife, or says whoever, right? Maybe you have a mom involved and it's like, dad's not gonna make it, he's too sick, we're not coming, right? However it is, they're just as frustrated. Um, so the compassion is actually going to be on your part because you're gonna have to think, yes, it didn't go my way, this breaks my heart, but I understand. I understand that you're trying very hard so I want you to know that true compassion starts with yourself gently loving and can unconditionally accept yourself just as you are. There's also that. Okay. Um, the one that I want though in here, I'm looking for a certain one though, you guys. Um, the more you can release judgments and negative beliefs about yourself and others, the more true compassion you'll have for others. Okay, so if you release it from yourself, you can also do it for others, but you also want to do it for others. So be gentle, just be gentle with other people. Um, okay, because just remember, they are really trying hard. Okay, it's not like they're just trying to ignore you, um, that they're mad at you or any of the above. Okay, and let's get an angel card for you. I do pray that this actual outcome, I, I do pray that, you know, um, that they do make it to you, that something changes between here and here, some thread opens up um, somehow and can change that outcome because remember outcomes are not set in stone. So I do pray that maybe somehow they can get to you. And I'm going to pray on that one for you guys, okay? Unless it's just really not meant to be, you know, some things are really not meant to be. I mean, if they're really unhealthy and they're really trying to get to you, it's not meant to be, right? They really need to rest um, and recover. Okay, so I will pray on that one for you guys and for them as well because you both want to be. It's recovery. Oh my gosh. See, that's what I said. For a lot of you, it's because of recovery. Spirit is awesome. Yes, they trip me out. <laughs> so it doesn't matter how long you do it, it still like trips you out, right? Okay, trust. So trust that whatever is going on is probably for the best. And maybe it's you who needs to recover, right? Maybe it's not even them. Maybe, you know, Spirit's like, I don't want them to come here because you need recovery, of uh, Virgo Libra. I don't want them here. I need you to recover. So it could be even that way in the near future. So they can be here in the near future, but not now. Yeah. 
the near future, there will be action taken, so take action then. So the action will be taken then, so you just have to wait a little bit longer, okay? It's not like they're never going to make it, they just might not make it for Christmas, okay? And that was it for you, my friends, and until next time, peace and love. Bye-bye.